Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at Parrot OS. Parrot OS is a free, open source Linux operating system based on Debian. It's designed with security and privacy as a top priority, and it comes with a wide array of tools for cybersecurity, digital forensics, and also software development. It's lightweight and fast. It also runs on low spec systems. And in this video, we're going to install it on a virtual machine. So let's get started. To install Parrot OS in VirtualBox, you need to follow a few steps. And everything I'm doing is going to be in the description below with timestamps. So you're following along while installing, you'll be able to jump back and forward as needed, and you won't be able to lose your spot. I'm also going to include links for all the downloads that you'll have to have for a successful installation. So let's begin with step one, and that's installing VirtualBox. We're going to begin by opening up our browser, opening up a new tab, and going to google.com. Inside Google, we're just going to type in VirtualBox, and virtualbox.org is the official URL of the website that we're going to be going to. We're going to be clicking on that, and here we are at the home page, and you'll see it in big blue letters here uh, to download the VirtualBox 6.1, which is the most current version that we're going to be doing. We'll click on Downloads. We're going to be downloading the Windows host, and we're going to scroll down a little bit further, and we want to make sure that we have the expansion pack as well. So we'll click on this, and we're going to download the expansion pack. So now that we have everything downloaded, it's going to be in our downloads folder. So here is the VirtualBox installation file, and we'll just have to double click on that. So we're going to install VirtualBox now, and here is the wizard. The first thing we're going to do is click on next. We're going to be using all default settings here, including the location and click on next as well as shortcuts and registering the files. We'll leave that click on next. And you'll get a warning for the interface. You might get an, uh, an option to install uh, an adapter. You can say yes to that. And here's some access controls. We can just say yes and let it install. So depending on the speed of your PC, this could take a few minutes. Okay, so the installation is complete. Uh, we can leave the check mark box left checked and click on finish. And it's going to automatically launch the virtual box. So now what we have to do is install the expansion pack. So we can do this by clicking on the file menu and then going down to preferences. And then we wanna go down to extensions and then click on the little folder icon on the left-hand side. And we have ours installed, sorry, we have ours downloaded in the downloads folder. So we'll select that and then click on open. And now it's gonna to attempt to install it. So we can just click on install. And you have to scroll all the way down for the agreement to light up. There we go. Click on I agree. And it wants permission, so we can say yes. And there we go. We've successfully installed VirtualBox and the expansion pack. So you can click on OK and OK again. And now we can start loading up the ISO image. Now we first need to get the ISO image. So what we're going to do is go over to the Parrot website and download the image for us to install. So we're going to head back over to Google and inside the search bar, we're going to search for Parrot OS. ParrotSEC.org is the official website. We're going to click on that and click on downloads. Uh, we're actually going to go to security. We'll scroll down a bit here and we're going to be using the security and then Parrot Security Mate desktop ISO file. So we're going to be doing the direct download. And it's going to download this file for us, which is the ISO that we'll be installing within VirtualBox. So this file is pretty large, so we'll just skip to the end. Okay, so now that the ISO has been downloaded in our desktop, we can create a new virtual machine to run it. So we'll close out of all our windows. So we're going to open up VirtualBox and we're going to create a new image. And so we're going to click on the new button here. And we have to give it a name. Uh, you can give it whatever name that you want, but you want to keep it relevant. So we're just going to call it Parrot OS. The machine folder is going to stay as default. We're not going to change this. And for the type, we're going to make sure that we select Linux. Okay, and then the version, because this is based on Debian, we're going to select the Debian 64-bit and then click on Next. For memory size, we're going to give this about four gigs of RAM. And 
we'll click on next. Hard disk space, we're gonna leave it as create a virtual hard disk now, click on create. And then VDI, we're gonna leave that, click on next. And dynamically allocated, we'll leave the setting as well. So here in the file location, we're not gonna change the folder that it's installing the image. We're gonna leave that as is, but we are gonna increase it in the disk space. Right now it has eight gigs. We're gonna put in 25 here, and then we can click on create. So it's created the virtual box. We're not done yet. We have to make a, a couple small modifications to this. And by doing this, we just can go up to settings in the top. And then on the left-hand side, we wanna to go to general and then advance. So we wanna make sure that we have both of these options selected as bi-directional, which is the clipboard and drag and drop. And then under system, we have RAM at four gigs, which is fine. We can leave that as is. Under processors, it only has one CPU. So we wanna increase this. We're gonna go right to the max, which is four. We're gonna click on display and we're gonna go all the way up to the max, which is 128 megs. Next for storage, we wanna include the ISO image. So we're, right now it's empty. We're gonna click on the little disk icon and then choose a disk file. Now we wanna to navigate to our downloads folder cause that's where we downloaded the ISO image. We're gonna select it and then click on open. So you can see that it's loaded up. It is now displayed inside the controller IDE. And below we have USB, we can just select 3.0 and that takes care of everything else. We can click on okay. And now we're ready to start up the virtual machine. There's a green icon at the top with a little arrow. Click on start and it's gonna start loading up the virtual machine. The first thing it wants to do is select the startup disk. If you have multiple ISOs downloaded, you wanna make sure you have the right one selected. Ours looks good, we'll click on start and it's gonna start booting it up. Now using your cursor keys during this installation period might be useful. We're gonna go all the way down to install and then hit enter. And then we're gonna move over to install with GTX GUI and then hit enter. And then we're gonna get, here we go. Uh, so the first step here is to select a language. I'm gonna keep it as English and then click on continue. And then it wants to know your location. By default, I have United States and my keyboard is English. So I'll leave it as American English and I'm clicking on enter for all the options. So here we go. It's gonna start loading the uh, additional components here. Okay, so here we are at the root password setup. Now the root password is basically the administrative password for the for the box. Uh, this is gonna be a secure password you wanna enter in your alphanumeric at the least, maybe add some characters in there as well. Uh, this is not gonna be your everyday password. This is just for when changes are required. So we'll click on continue. And now we're gonna be setting up a user. Now the user that we're setting up here is designed to be your regular user, your daily user. So we'll just type in a username first, click on continue, and then we have to enter a password for this as well. Uh, again, we recommend alphanumeric if you wanna add in some ca characters as well, it just makes it a little bit more secure. And you have to enter that in twice, and then you can click on continue. Okay, so to configure your clock, you're just gonna pick your time zone. We're in Eastern time zone, so we'll just leave it as Eastern. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the partition disks. So right now we're gonna be using guided entire disk. So, and in here we have SCSI. We'll leave that as is, click on continue. And then we wanna use the default again here, which is all files in one partition, and then click on continue. So yet yeah, we're gonna be finishing all changes and writing the changes to the disk. So we can leave that as is and click on continue. And it wants to know if you wanna make any other changes. We don't wanna make any other changes. So we'll leave it as no, click on continue. And are we ready to write the changes to the disk? Yes. So we'll select yes and then click on continue. Now we're just using all default settings. We're letting it write, use the entire disk because this is a virtual machine. Uh, we've already allocated the space that we want to use for the uh, Paired OS. 
Okay, now it wants to install the Grub Bootloader and it wants to know if you want to use it on your primary drive. We're going to leave it as yes, and then we can click on continue. And we only have one drive available here, so we'll select that and then we'll click on continue. Okay, so the installation is complete. We've obviously cut out a lot of time here, so you don't have to watch the full installation of the timers going right across. Uh, the installation is complete. We can click on continue. What it's going to want to do is shut down and restart. So it'll go through that process right now and we can let it reboot. Now, if you have any issues after the first time of uh, doing this installation with it not shutting down properly or not uh, rebooting properly, just power down the VirtualBox completely, uh, close out of VirtualBox, reopen up VirtualBox and then start the uh, Parrot OS from beginning. So here we go, it's loading up right now. And by default, you're gonna get a boot louder like this. It's gonna select the first option by default uh, within five seconds. So if you don't select it, it's gonna select it for you. We're gonna be selecting the first option by hitting enter. So here we are at the login screen and it's gonna ask for a password. So this is not the root login, this is your user login. You can go ahead and type in that and hit enter. So it's up and running. Now, the first thing it's going to want to do when you log in is update the operating system. So it's going to want to make sure that you have everything up to date. Uh, that's highly recommend that you actually do that. So you have all the tools that you'll need to go further. So this is installing the updates right now. Um, it'll go through the whole process, but we're installed. We have Parrot OS running on a VirtualBox 6.1 on Windows 10. So that's basically the full installation right here. Once the updates are done, you can go ahead and use the tools as you would. As you can see, when we full screen it, it doesn't take up the entire screen. So if you want it to take up the entire screen, what you want to do is install the guest additions package. We have another video that we have at the end here that we'll link to so you can do that. Uh, that just gives you a couple more tools that you can use that might be useful for you. Uh, drag and dropping from your desktop to the virtual box, uh, copying and pasting text, a lot of things like that, which is very useful. So this is basically the full installation. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. And if you did enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.